Right. Back we are. And before I ended the last recording, or rather, right after I ended the last recording, I clicked around on a few things and I noticed something very peculiar. Namely, that my main income is the city tax. Which isn't all that surprising, to be quite honest. Because those are, for any government type, the people paying the most tax. However, what I found to be very interesting is that I didn't fiddle with this yet. So I feel like, let's check our council. And we're definitely going to switch that law around so we get even more money out of them. So right now, we earn a grand total of uh, almost 55 gold. Let's switch that a little bit around. So they pay us 5% more taxes because we never raise their troops anyway. So let's do that. The council should decide in my favor since everyone is pretty much a loyalist. Um, so they did. So let's check what we earn now. Might take a little to update. Maybe until next month. Ah, there we go. Didn't do all that much, but it'll be something in the long run. Also, what it tells me is where I should go and what should I aim for. A foreigner painter arrived today. The painter has previously created beautiful portraits of many noble feudal families. Hmm. I think we should go for a magnificent portrait of our horse. Definitely. Okay, so what we should go for is counties that hold plenty of cities, at least two. Those are our main objectives going forward, so this one would be nice. But, of course, those are the uh, nomads. What I also saw was these guys aren't all that strong currently. So I figured, as they are still at war with the Abbasid, we might go and create ourselves a little tributary. Which I immediately forgot that we're in a non-aggression pact. Because he's married to my half-sister. So good for him. Also, he's a homosexual. Oh, can we seduce you? Wait, can I seduce people now? Yes, apparently I can. That is grand. Okay, let's check our clan. And... Oh, right, we also need to do the duel thing. We're not at war right now, so now we can do it. Let's duel the men. Oh, no, we inherited a thing. That's not great. Let's give that to one of our sons, the, the one with the lisp. Shall we? Oh, I just want to give him the Timar of Yarkand. What I want to give him. There we go. He has accepted a spatting match then. And this time, he comes at us slowly. I offer him the best taunting smile, and it does not take long before I've seen it. No, I have seen to hit him square in the jaw, causing him to stagger backwards in confusion. So we are now victorious. And we are not wounded for once. We just get all the perks. Without any of the negative comeuppance. Right. Now what I wanted to do is Go and hmm.
<laughs> I was going to just seduce everyone, but they have to be homosexuals to be seduced. Makes sense. So we can go and seduce all the women at least. No? I believe we can only seduce homosexuals. Because the option doesn't even show up unless it's a homosexual. Yeah. Well, we have done anything, everything we can anyway. We have a lot of potential heirs, so all is well. And in July, we'll switch to war. Improve our skill in this. And then switch around a little bit more, I suppose. Because that is... Not great. Who do you want? Okay, we have an open slot. We can just leave it open. So what does the advisor slot give? It doesn't tell me. I have to pick someone and then remember. Is there a loyalist advisor? No, only him. We'll leave the advisor slot open. It's fine. I think. That shouldn't be adverse to me. And he's the one that doesn't really contribute all that much anyway. Let's go take care of those. Oh. Looks like we don't even need to mobilize. That was a quick one. Yeah, we won. No trouble there. What can we do with you? It's subjugate them. That's what I wanted to do to Tibet. I wanted to subjugate them. Um, maybe we should go and establish a tributary over here. Or these guys. We had war with these guys. So let's. How many troops can you field? Not many, I don't think. Can we invade you? No. We also can't subjugate you. Hmm. Shame. Kyrgyz. What can we do to you? With you, we could establish a tributary. Would be pretty decent. They are quite strong. But not too strong. Can we invade something of yours? Nah, we don't have enough population. We're not at 75% of our maximum. We cannot. Could subordinate them, or at least pieces of them, which would bring more area into our lands. But I feel a tributary would be decent. Oh, are these no longer part of the protectorate? Doesn't look like it. These are actually, the Western Protector is actually a tributary of these guys. Well, some issues resolve themselves before you even do anything. So should we establish these guys as our tributaries? They have suffered. Oh, they're tributaries to these. Hmm. Uh, these are only really these guys. So let's move our horses over here. Check what we can build. We are already building. And we'll just take these guys into the fold. Into our empire. I mean, it worked out really well for Kazaria with these guys, yeah? I just 
kind of insane. Bulgaria is also quite large. How many troops you got? Ooh. Fairly strong. I was considering... Getting... These guys as our tributary. Or even subjugate them. Because they're not super strong right now. Given their war. That they are fighting with Tibet. Which is going in the favor of Tibet too. So this might be the one chance we get. And I feel like it's daring and kind of stupid. So we should do that. We should try this. Let's try it. It's, it's the greatest adventure that any horde has ever undertaken. And we're definitely calling in everyone that we can. And we're going to strike straight at the heart of the enemy. Let's check the best and brightest are in charge here. Looks like they are. <laughs> okay, we, we should mop up the back line that he has and find his army. And fight him where he fights the Tibetans. Wife is pregnant. <sighs> ah, he's he's assembling some troops here. We'll go straight for them. Let's have our allies join my army. So we create an unstoppable blob of horses. There is the Tibetan army, I believe. China is doing things. China! Another one to be offered to Tengri. Okay, we've beaten a few armies, but they are so far not really relevant for the war score. Let's see, maybe we can find his army, since he is leading troops. Where are you leading troops? In bulk. In bulk, where is that? Over here. So instead of moving down here, we should go over there. And see what we can accomplish. Maybe we can fight them as they are fighting the Tibetans. Since this terrain might be fairly rough. Yeah, let's, let's buy her something nice. Can afford it after all. Ran over a little tiny company of enemies. Oh, we can rank up in our society and there's a lot of other th stuff going on. Uh, let's get a new commander. Prepared, but not these guys, even though they're great, not these guys. Let's find someone who's worthy. But we're gonna look everywhere. Oh, hello there. Yes, please join me. Oh, oh, cavalry leader. Even better. Oh, that man. Oh, these two. Oh, boy. I'm getting excited. I'm sorry. That's ideal for what we're doing here right now. So... This man and this man. We are leading as it is. Where's our cavalry leader? There he is. And the other guy gets to lead 
one of the 250 archers. There we go, there's an army of our dear enemy. We'll just siege around here. Since Tibet is pushing them back right now. Ah, yes, 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 ranking up. Let's do rank up because we have a bunch of interesting powers already and we'll get Reaver. When leading armies successfully sieging holdings, you have a greater chance of conjuring, no, capturing enemies and looting artifacts. Yes, 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 let's do that. Let's level up here. Warrior training enables right click your own character to give yourself a special commander trait. Summon Lodge Commander. Oh man. Oh, another pair of twins. This is crazy. I'm getting all kinds of twins here. Look at that. We have three sets of twins. All boys. That's amazing. And they're all going to be strugglers. Hard headed, strong hearted. And I think our horde is slowly getting to its fullest extent. A loyal servant appeared who is probably a good commander. Oh, there's a loyalist. You can be our advisor. So where is our dear enemy? Are you still leading troops? No, in Hizar now. Oh, you're deep in enemy territory. So we should definitely go for the capital. And head off any troops that might go east. We can increase our own levy, we should definitely do that. But with prestige troops this time. I'm so tempted to not use the prestige troops. Let's get the cheapish ones. That are still pretty damn good. These are probably the best cheapish ones that are still pretty damn good. Alright. Get... And we'll send these down here. We will clash with an army we don't see yet. Not great. But we need to get out of where we have attrition. Oh, hello there. There's an army we see. We will definitely attack them. That's a big little bulk you got there. Let's help our stepbrothers. Another duel. Alright. Recently I have amused myself with seducing handsome young guard. He follows me around like a puppy. A very big muscular puppy. Make him a squire and keep him as my lover. Give him a tumble and I'll have the most loyal bodyguard ever. For 30 years. Yeah, let's let's make him our bodyguard. That sounds fun. Oh, we've taken over this siege from our... Well, not really our friends, but... Certainly our friends. Okay, now we go for the main event. Let's hope my 400 additional riders will arrive without incident.
There is an army of his. We'll siege this down entirely. Some Iraqi troops. Oh no. Okay, uh, let's send a few to go siege somewhere. We'll just keep two armies attached. Come on, leave us. Ah, too much attrition. Can we build a fort? No, we cannot. This is highly unfortunate. Get away from me. Okay, let's tell some... Tell them directly to go here. So they stop. Messing about with us. Where are they even? 5,000? I don't see them. They're not with us. Um... I am bent low over my war table, struggling to stay focused and keep my eyes open when my wife enters. She crosses the room and inspects the war table over my shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might help. She's not bad in this, so... You know what? Let's, uh, let's hear what she has to say. Another sacrifice for Tengri. All right, my wife has received an education in warfare like myself, so she quickly grasps the nuances of the problem and explain it. Uh, as I explain it. The two of us set to work, discussing comparing strategies. My wife is the most competent strategist. Within an hour, we have laid the groundwork for a promising solution. A brilliant idea. You got any additional suggestions? Oh, no. Our follow-up troops are losing a little bit. But it's okay. They hopefully lead toward us. Yeah, they are. Oh no, our advisor slot is open again. That seems to be a fairly precarious one. Let's get the dear princess in it. One of my commanders has gotten a new trade. Very good. You should go and train warriors. We will need them. And everyone else does as they do. I think I just clicked away a son there. Yep. Another one. Oh, he's quick. He's going to be the one. He's going to be the one we want. So, you get the best guardian there is, which is myself. Pretty much. Since we have a pretty granular control over who becomes our heir through the prestige system, we have decent chances of, uh, as soon as our child becomes of age, pushing them in the right direction, and it looks like we might actually be able to subjugate them. I'm not entirely sure what that means at the end of the day. But we are doing it. We've certainly taken all of their main holdings. He doesn't want it yet. Our troops haven't clashed yet. And not, uh, not in any significant way as it is, anyway. So where are you leading your troops right now? Arjan. This direction. Let's go meet him. Must be coming... Somewhere here. Go find him. There's an army. Uh, 
Ah, my Chancellor died. More loyalists, please. We don't need anyone doing anything except being loyal. That's all we want. We're losing a bunch of money on this. I cannot believe it. Dearest Valnor, my proud lord. You are gone from this world and I am left behind alone and heartbroken. I will never hold you in my arms. Uh... It become cruel, which is kind of good. Uh, we'll just seek solace at his grave, I think. Should be around here somewhere. Need to unpause. The things actually happen. Get a lover's memento, which gives us. A half health plus. Well, this man is going to live a long, long time. There it is. There's their army. We don't want to fight that army. We're going to fight that army instead. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our spy mistress and tell her to study some technology up here so we can keep an eye on uh, every movements everybody's movements because once this army is alone again without these 7,000 jumping around we will most certainly attack them let's find a good vantage point this side is where we need to attack from so this is where we'll go and then we'll attack his army and crush it too. We could attack right now. Even with the 7,000 around. Should be fine. But I'd rather not take any chances. Okay, so we get both armies at the time. That's okay. We'll certainly survive that. Let's check the composition. You see light infantry, heavy infantry. Very little cavalry. Lots of archers. But you will, you will see. These are equal armies. They will have the advantage too. But you will just see what happens. It's crazy. That is the strength of cavalry. To be fair, they don't have commanders too. But it's just crazy how good it is. To fight from horseback. We'll replenish our troops a tiny little bit. Because these are also mountains and we don't really want to fight into that. Yeah, let's have a non-aggression pact, because why not? Now we go here, this time. These are not going to join there. So we fight his army and hopefully we win this by doing this. We should be fine. This isn't looking as great. But it's still great enough. Oh no, they have these defensive tactics up. One flank is broken. Perfect. Gabagon, you haphazard brute! A shout carries through the mountains where I am fighting a close battle alongside my personal guards. In the distance, I see enemy reinforcements coming my way. Listen, I'll begin to my soldiers. So, um... Yeah. You know what we have that they don't? Each other. Inspiring leader is great. Aggressive leader isn't bad either, but inspiring leader is just a tad better. And there we go. Just as we hear joy to the world. You are totally beaten. That is true. Right. <laughs> this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> oh god, I've never seen this. This is completely stupid. 
I don't even know what to do with this now. Oh god, we're on our vast limit almost. Oh man. What have I done? I'm not sure if this is a good thing. I don't actually believe it is. Okay, we need to... We need to bribe a few people here. To step out of factions. It's going to be costly, but it'll be worthwhile. Oh man. We're going to face so many rebellions. Oh god, what have I done? Let's pillage this. Because we can't we can't use great works anyway. So what do we care? <laughs> yeah, we're threatening, I understand that. Oh god. Right, let's get rid of the holdings that we got now. The temple we're going to pillage. The Timar we're going to pillage. And the other temple we're also going to pillage. Oh god, what have we done? Oh look! More great works to loot. Nah, we're not going to loot these. Monthly prestige, trade rod income, Petra. Petra doesn't do anything as it is. So we might as well loot it. Oh god. <laughs> 14 titles can be created. The title of the Kingdom of Armenia. Not really worthwhile. Let's see if there's some other kingdoms that... The Persian Empire could create that. Can we hold that without leasing it? <laughs> what else? Kingdom of Persia. That would be good. That includes a whole lot of vassals. So we'll create this. And put someone up who likes us. You like us. See if we can transfer some vessels. No, these are just city lords and things like that. Though maybe he will tell us who he desires to have. No one. Okay. Let's check this du jour thing again. Because I feel. This guy should be his vassal, but he isn't. Why aren't you his vassal? Why can't I transfer you? Doesn't show- oh! Isn't that him? Tigris? No. You have what? Amy Yab Yab. Emir Yabya. If only these were a little bit more clear. This is this is something that I really don't like about this game. It's very hard to tell who's who, quite often. Okay, let's see. There's another kingdom, which would unite a bunch of people here. So let's do create this as well. Who likes us? He likes us. He likes us even more. 
I forgive him this and all lower titles with it. Okay, over here we have a bunch of stuff going on. Kingdom of Arabia? That's not a lot. But there should be a Kingdom of Syria and a Kingdom of Nubia. Wow. These are in rebellion, aren't they? Now this is already part of a kingdom down here. So we should take the kingdom of uh, Syria. Settling a few more people here. But we can't. So this guy. He definitely should have a place on our council. What are you good at? What are you good at? He's a decent commander. So let's have him be there. Sultan of Egypt. That's you, isn't it? No. Which one is it? Sultan of Egypt, yeah. Why does he have a different icon here? Oh no, he doesn't. There we go. So you can be here, be on my council. So the dangerous factions are kind of disintegrating. Uh, as people see my men starting to tear down the unfinished Petra, they become upset. Let's open it for everyone. So is this a revolt? No, that's a host. Where are these revolts? Down here. Oh god, we'll have to walk millions of miles now to take care of this empire that we created here. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay. We have established ourselves as fairly strong, holding the Arabian Empire. Which we will keep, by the way. Even if we lose the Kaganate, we will keep the Empire title. So, <laughs> that's fairly crazy. That is fairly crazy. Okay, let's get out a few titles. For some of these people who do not like us. We don't care for our... Men from the tribes, we only care for the newly acquired acquisitions. Because let's check our inheritance again. Clan chiefs with more prestige than the heir get claims on the Kaganate. So these kings down here don't matter. Do not matter for the... Purposes of Wait, why do I run around with my own army here? I could just Raise my vassal troops, you know Well, that's not a lot of vassal troops though <laughs> Can I transfer some vassalage to you? Um Tigris. Where is this? It is this, isn't it? Yeah. I want to give that to this guy. There. There you go. And now we have another vassal we can transfer. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, yeah. Definitely give that to this kid. So we don't have to deal with them. And now we can go ahead 
Raise 400 here, and how many can we get from you? 1,000. That's not enough. Yeah, we need to send our own troops to take care of this. Ah, a magnum opus on planetary astrology. Would you like to give to me? Well, thank you. That is a lovely gift. What does it do for us? Another book, I believe. Yeah, learning plus one. Why can't I equip this? Two out of four. Hmm. Okay, I think we can only have four books and only f two equipped. I believe that's what that means. Another daughter. Lovely. Let's her be thrifty. Wow, okay, this was really long, but given what we achieved here, I feel that's quite all right. That it took us a little longer than usual. Uh, no. I mean, we could go Muslim, but I don't want to. More Sunni have joined the uprising. Where are they even? Ah, here. That's fine. First we squash these and then we squash these. I think that's how it should be. <laughs> Alright, let's stop it here. We, we have we've gone quite far enough for one very, very long episode. Let's see how we can hold this or if we can hold this because this is completely insane. Completely crazy and off the rocker. <laughs>